In the depths of the Great Depression, when hope seemed as fragile as paper wings, a machine was born that would redefine human mobility, December 17, 1935, a date that echoed with historical symmetry exactly 32 years after the Wright brothers' first flight, marked the maiden journey of an aircraft that was more than metal and engine. The Douglas DC-3 emerged not from corporate ambition, but from a delicate dance between American Airlines' vision and Douglas Aircraft's hesitation. A dream of comfortable travel, of connecting a fractured nation, took shape on the runways of Santa Monica. World War II would transform the DC-3 from a commercial marvel into a global lifeline, renamed, reimagined, C-47 Dakota, Gunnybird. It became the silent hero of a worldwide conflict. Designed to carry 24,000 pounds, it would routinely shoulder 35,000 pounds of human hope and military necessity. From the blood-soaked beaches of Europe to the dense jungles of the Pacific, this aircraft carried more than cargo and troops. It transported dreams of liberation, survival and eventual peace. Each rivet, each wingspan represented human engineering's most profound promise. To connect, to rescue, to transform. As jet age donned and sleeker machines claimed the skies, the DC-3 did not fade. It evolved, from commercial routes to scientific expeditions, from corporate shuttles to skydiving platforms, it refused obsolescence. Into the late 1990s, these legendary aircraft continued their quiet service, living monuments to an era of extraordinary human ingenuity. More than an aircraft, the DC-3 became a narrative of resilience. It whispered a timeless truth. True innovation transcends its original purpose, finding new meanings, new missions across generations.